I want to talk uh, about this book here, The North Water, um, by Ian Maguire. Uh, this is, um, as all my recent videos, a short list, rather a long listed book for the Man Booker 2016. Um, it's an interesting one. I mean, I thoroughly enjoyed it. I think he is, on at least one level, an exceptional writer. Um, but really, it is just a sort of adventure story, uh, a, a kind of classic boy's own um, journey, voyage, extreme weather, elemental, um, brutish characters, um, and I'm not sure that it operates particularly on any other level. Um, it's not a novel of ideas, I don't think, and I don't think really it's a novel of, of character. I think it's a novel about something elemental in, in, in human stamina um, and about men, um, but not in any way that I think I don't think it dimensionalizes men. In fact, it does the opposite. It reduces men to a single dimension, which is one of, of kind of life force. Um, but it is brilliant in terms of like its language it, because it's set in the 1850s. Um, it starts off in Hull, it then takes place on a boat, and then it takes place in the Arctic or the North Water. But it is essentially about the kind of excrescences of men, not man, um, it doesn't even have, um, it doesn't have any women in it. I mean, there are a couple of um, dockside whores. I'm not even sure they say anything. Um, but really, it is about sweat and bile and excrement and blubber and decaying flesh. Um, and he does this, I mean, it, it's second to none. Um, and the fact that he perseveres with how, how life in that, uh, at that point of time in, in that world was one of, of, of just pure physicality. Um, and for that reason only, it is an extraordinary read. Um, and you come away while reading it feeling as though you need a shower um, uh, and you need some clean air. Um, but I just want to read one passage, which actually isn't about that, um, but um, it gives you an idea of, of, of something of the elemental nature of the language. It's just four lines about... Um, watching an iceberg sorry I'm gonna move um, Sumner remembers watching the iceberg through the grey veil of flailing snow many storied and immaculate moving slowly and unstoppably forward with the frictionless non-movement of a planet I mean that is writing of, of just the highest order um, Many stories and immaculate is beautiful, um, but frictionless non movement of a planet. I'm not even sure it makes sense, but it is perfect. Um, so, anyway, I mean, if one is interested in a kind of an adventure story about, I mean, I, I think I've spoken in, in, in a previous uh, video about, about this, that it has something of early. Um, Oh God, what's his name? He wrote the um, uh, the road. Um, anyway, him, yes, early, um, and um, in the sense that it is, it is very masculine, very hard, very remorseless, um, but compelling, uh, nonetheless. Of course, I mean that is very compelling, but. As I said, in, in terms of should it have been a uh, shortlist for the man booker, I think on the prose alone, taking you know the adventure story to another level, yes. As a literary novel, I think it probably doesn't quite deliver 
um, doesn't quite deliver something. Um, a, a sort of, I think literary novels in the end have to to say something that more than than man in his extremis will become brutal and stubborn. Um, but 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 a very very strong novel. <laughs>